in unambiguous terms to assert uh, our values and to go on the offense that we are a freedom state, that we support the rights of women and girls, reproductive care, reproductive rights now are shrined in the Constitution of the state of California. an example of the group of churches I belong to. It's called Calvary Chapel. And they started in 1968 in California with Chuck Smith. He looked out at a sea of humanity and they were burned out. A few short years earlier, JFK was shot. So all these young people who had promised hope and change, all their heroes were dead and they were burned out on politics. You're watching communism and socialism infused in the country and it's being torn apart. And Chuck looks out at all these burned out people and he deliberately avoids politics because they're burned out. But he goes back to a simplistic teaching of the scriptures, and that's what Calvary chapels are known for. Verse by verse, chapter by chapter, book by book. He experiences 10,000% growth south of Van Nuys. There's more Calvary chapels than Dunkin' Donuts. 52 years into this, how's California benefited from this massively growing church? Well, we no longer have the fourth largest GDP. We have the fifth or the sixth. We have the highest gas tax, sales tax, income tax, corporate tax. We lead the nation in debt. You combine the next four largest states debt doesn't equal the debt of California. We lead the nation in homelessness and in poverty. And we lead the nation in abortion, transgender bathroom bills, no fault divorce. It's awful. And I look at churches and I go, where's the power of the gospel? Freedom is having choices, Thomas Jefferson said, but liberty is doing what's right. Until you do what's right, you'll never have choices, but those choices can enslave you. If your child comes home from school, and this is the difference between morality and character or liberty and, and freedom, your child comes home from school and says, mommy, daddy, all the kids in the school called Susie fat, but I didn't. You would say to that child, that's a very moral thing to do, but where's your character? The child would say, what do you mean? Why didn't you tell the other children to stop it? Jesus says, pray every day, my kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The question is, is, is it wrong to kill babies when we go in here? But then if we go and work for a facility, it's okay because that's just the rules of my employer. Do we, we erect these categories in our head where we excuse human behavior as if Jesus isn't king of the church and the streets, as if he isn't Lord over the pauper and the governor. That, that's, that's called the city of Fontana, 70% Hispanic. The values of the Hispanic family, you know, and not realizing that they're conservative people and they, they want to see good things. And we're going to get a glimpse of that. That's what this Planned Parenthood has done to the city of Fontana. Awaken the sleeping giant. Church has got to wake up, stand up for Christ. And we're going to see an amazing movement of the Spirit of God bringing unity for this community. So we lift up the owner. We lift up Planned Parenthood. We lift up the people who are involved. And we ask God that you would convict them, that you would not let them sleep. That is not for the purpose that they be destroyed, but for the purpose of repentance. God, turn their hearts to you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guys, what's up? What an amazing day. God absolutely showed up in a big, big way. It's, it's amazing what just the voice of one woman at a church can do to bring out over 300 plus people to stand up for life. I encourage everybody that sees this video, sees his, his pictures, just get involved. If you don't like what's happening in your city, if you don't like what's happening in your state, if you don't like what's happening in your school board, Stop saying you don't like it and get up and do something about it. That's what we all need to do. God bless you all. God bless the babies. Let's stop this abortion in our cities. God bless.